Hey, good morning. How are you? I am so excited. Welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. We hit over 3,000 subscribers. I'm excited. Yay! Anyways, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you for everybody that has been contributing to my to my YouTube channel, New Mexico Cooking, my way. We've been here forever and ever and ever and ever. And so I learned to cook from my grandmothers, my mother, my dad, you know, and myself and just cook, you know. So thank you all. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue sharing, subscribing, hit that like button and hit the bell so you know when I'm, I'm on. I put some meat in the micro to defrost a little bit because I decided at the last moment to make green chili stew. So I'm making green chili stew the way my mama used to make it. My mother made it that way. My grandma made it that way. Huh, you know what? It is what it is, okay? So nobody went conmigo. Así no es. Uh, you know, así no me enseñaron. That's how they showed me. So New Mexico style at its finest. And all it is is, you know, I have stewed tomatoes. And then I have some papas. Ya están cortadas. Have some cebolla. Have a little bit of mice, corn. You know what, mom would put corn in it just to just to make it different sometimes. You know, it is what we ever we had at home. And so, of course, your chile. And this is the last of my chile de frasco, the chili that I had, had jarred last year. So this is the last of it. So I wanted to use it up. So that's what this is, mira. And so, and then a little bit of the uh, morel manteca for my, for my meat. And then, of course, some garlic powder and salt. And then, while the meat's cooking and everything, I am going to make whole wheat tortillas. I know, you know, whole wheat masa is so unforgiving. So you never know how the heck it's going to come out. So this is, this is four cups of whole wheat th uh, flour. So I'm going to do that. And then a little bit of the Crisco. And then agua caliente, and then of course some baking powder, and let's see how the tortillas come. Yes, I'm going to do two different recipes. It's okay, it's my channel, I can. And I love to talk. You're in my kitchen. So when you're in my kitchen, I'm going to have a conversation with you. So I talk and talk and talk, and sometimes I won't say nothing, but it's okay. It's my kitchen, my, you know, this is how I cook for my family, and I love to chitter chatter. So aquí vamos. So I have my cazuela, and I love my cazuela. My mom always used a pan, I mean, you know, a regular pan, but I love the cazuela. So I have my cazuela already on warm, and then I have um, my comal. I have my new stove, you guys, check it out. I love my new stove, I'm so excited with it. And I'm gonna use this comal for the first, really for the first time to make my tortillas. Just because I want to see how it comes out. So, a ver. So, aquí vamos a hacer la carnita. So, it's just a, a round steak. And I'm using this board because this way it picks up all the, you know, all the drippings. And so, it's just a round steak. My, my grandma M, my dad's mom, that's what she always used, round steak. And she loved round steak. And so, anyway, so this is just a round steak that I got at the commissary and... So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna mucha carnita. That's one thing I have to say. Grandma M always, always added a lot of carne. She loved her carnita. And so, anyways, I'm gonna turn the camera just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. So, and like I said, I'm here. I cook by myself. You know, I mean, some my hita was here just a little while ago. She brought me something, and so, um, so she was here. But once my son-in-law retires, then I, you know. He'll help me every so often. I don't expect him to do it all the time. But he'll help me. You know, si le pregunto, me ayuda. And, um, and stuff. Anyways, I was, I was uh, hearing on the news the other day that our New Mexico dialect, the way we speak, is very different from Mexican. And so, anyways, they said as the elders are passing on, our dialect of what we were raised with is slowly but surely disappearing because the elders that used it the most um, are going away you know they're on their way to heaven and so anyways so eventually they said on the news 
that eventually our dialect will no longer be in existence. And so I, Dios mio, I'm like, oh no, you know, and that's because a lot of the newer generation, they don't know our, new, our dialect, you know. So we have to, you know, we have to say, you know, the words. We have to, you know, continue to teach our children and grandchildren and the words, not just the bad words, right, verdad? <laughs> so anyways, that's um, what's happening and stuff. So anyways, so I was seeing that and, and I know some people are just so critical because I say and stuff a lot. I didn't realize I say and stuff a lot, but I guess I do. And so anyways, but I think it's funny because that's just how I talk, you know, I mean, Es una cosa para hablar y es otra cosa para no hablar. And, and for me, I, I just talk to you, you know. You're in my kitchen, so I talk. So aquí I repeat it myself. And, um, but anyway, so, yeah, so I said, well, we got to start using up our dialect, you know, and not allowing it to go away, you know. I mean, you know, society is so hard as it is, you know, and then when you you know, and your roots, I mean, your roots are so important, you know, those roots to teach your children and your grandchildren. And, um, you know, we all have family of choice. Everybody does. We all have those best friends and whatnot. But, you know, the thing about it is, is that even though you have family of choice, you still need to teach your kids the the true meaning of, of familia, you know. And, um, so that's important, you know. Es como antes, you know, you would go to weddings and whatnot. And, um, you know, it was pura familia. I mean, family galore. And, um, you know, and it's so sad because anymore you have weddings or you have whatever, gatherings, whatnot. Es, um, you know, it's your friends before familia anymore. You know, before you could go to weddings and it was all familia that was... In the, that were the bridal party, you know, and now in today's world, you know, we're lucky if the new, if the generations know their relatives, you know, and know what it's like to have a huge family wedding and everybody's there, and um, you know, it's different. We went to a wedding this weekend. I guess that's why I was thinking about it, and it was my son-in-law's brother and his new sister-in-law. Congratulations on those novios. We had a wonderful time. And, you know, my brother-in-law, you know, he his family, he doesn't have a lot of family left anymore, meaning tios and tias and all that, because a lot of his familia has already, they've all passed, you know. And, um, you know, his mama, our comadre, God bless her heart, you know, she passed away in December and, you know, it just everything. And so, you know, como le está diciendo mi mom, I was talking to my mom, before the wedding and I told her oh no we have to go to be there at the wedding we're like you know Mijita's parents you know we need to be there to support Mijito you know to support David support his family and and we were and oh they treat us just beautiful and so Mijita Rachel and Ed and Logan and all of us oh everybody looked just beautiful the bride and the groom were just radiant and and then we all went to the, to the game yesterday, playoffs for Yaffle, and there's the bride and groom. They were there. They, they you know, even Desvelados estaba and I to, you know, to support their great nephew, you know, and to support their nephew. And it was wonderful, you know. It was like, oh my God. And even the mom of the bride was was there, and estaba un friazo. It was cold yesterday, you know. So I'm here just picando la carne, okay. So, and the meat's not real thick, so it'll, it'll cook fast. Um, and then while I do the, the masa and tortillas and whatnot, everything will boil. And I use the Yukon gold potatoes. That's what I'm using. I just thought I better say that. Somebody asked me what potatoes I'm using. I want you to know. Asina seven. And then, too, if you ask me in a, in a, um, in a, um, in a message, what kind of papas did she use? I'm going to say, you didn't watch that video porque yo dije ay. You know? <laughs> and so anyways, but yeah. So I'm using Yukon, Yukon potatoes and um, a little bit of fresh tomate that I had uh, that I had diced up the other day. Um, I'm using um, 
a little bit of those is just very little just a, a not even a handful and then the rest is just stewed uh, stewed tomatoes and then my onions I diced they're already diced I keep diced onions in the refrigerator and so that's what I did there but anyway so yeah so we had a we had a, a full weekend you know mister was tired you know and just tired he but you know the, our kids are so uh, they're so compassionate when it comes to him you know and just you know dad it's okay just rest you don't have to go to the game you don't have to do this or that it's okay dad but he does and if we have to we'll go sit in the car and we listen to the loudspeakers you know if we have to but he um he does not like missing anything and neither do i when it comes to our grandchildren and um we, our grandchildren and our girls they truly are our priorities and our son-in-laws and you know we just we just adore our son-in-law. They're a bunch of good guys. But anyways, um, hard workers, good guys, and whatnot. So anyways, so like I said, these uh, this round steak that I got, the commissary, they have these thin round steaks, which is fine. You know, as a matter of fact, it's easier. And I, you know, I use a lot of meat as it is. So it's easier to cut and faster to cook. Cuando no están tan gresos. So this... So anyways, but that's what it is. So that's what I'm doing today. And it's because the frito, you know, it's in New Mexico. It snowed in parts of northern New Mexico. It snowed a little bit, you know, but it did. And so, sheesh. So the friazo is coming. Okay, my carnita is already. I'm going to move this over and rinse it just real quick. And I'm gonna grab my paper towels. Okay. Now I'm gonna move these boards. I keep these boards here. I always keep them on, on my on my butcher block. I put them right here. I always keep my boards on my butcher block. Because I never know which I'm gonna use, so I just leave them there. You know. Okay. So aquí I'm gonna get my carnita. And I'm actually just going to put it in here, place it in here, and you can hear it sizzle. And right before it's done, it's done cooking, you know, it, it of course it shrinks and stuff. And so, um, this is pulled up quick. Cause this will be the bowl that I use with water for the for the stew. So I'm gonna fill the bowl up with water. You know this. I'm gonna leave it right here. And then what will go next is I will put the onion. Well, no, I'll put the papas next. That way the papas kind of um, cook a little bit. And they eat a lot faster. So anyway, so I'm going to move all of my stuff right here. Así no pueden haber poquito, at least. So there's my stewed tomatoes, my onions, my papas, a little bit of corn. Of course, the morale for the meat, the salt, and some garlic powder. So I'm going to do that. So in the meantime, while that's, I'm going to turn on this water real quick. So while the meat is cooking, I'm going to make some masa. I mix this real quick. And so, oh, let me get my, my rolling pin. The rolling pin. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So now, like I said, I have the four cups of the whole wheat flour. And I do notice that some people will put a little bit of uh, regular flour in the whole wheat. I, I do and I don't. Maybe I will so I can show you a difference. But yeah, I think I'll just do it like this. So there goes my, my Crisco. My water is hot, which I like the hot water. And the thing about... And the thing about making whole wheat tortillas, 
the dough could go either way. Hijola. You know, as much as I love making tortillas, ay Dios mío. So here's about a tablespoon of the baking powder. I put in here. And then the salt, it's about the same. And that's all I do. So then now, what I'll do is I break up. You sometimes I emulsify, you know, I mean, it's okay. You could do either way. Sometimes I do. Just depends. Depends what mood I'm in, Verla. Like anything else. And then this way, while I'm doing, well, this is while the meat's cooking and I'm making the dough, the dough will rest and then I can start adding everything else. So it works. It all works. And the thing about using Yukon potatoes is that they boil and soften quick. I mean, they really soften quickly. So that's exciting for me. This is a long video. I haven't got, I haven't done a long video in a long time. See, look, and it's just breaking up your, breaking it all up, see? I decided to use a glass bowl. That way you guys can, pueden ver lo que estoy haciendo. So, hoy vamos a usar manteca. We're using morel manteca for my carnita, for my green chili stew. And my our UPS driver, he had said he hadn't seen, um, that I didn't have a green chili recipe, green chili stew recipe. So, le dije, I go, okay, I'll, I'm going to make, I'm going to do one. And so, today, and then when I saw last night, oh my God, 3,000 subscribers. I was like, ah, I think tomorrow I'll make green chili. Green chili stew. Yeah, because como sale. And it's okay to critique. But like I tell you, just be nice. Que bárbaro. It doesn't cost anybody nothing to be nice. Doesn't cost you a thing to be nice. And critiquing is a wonderful. It's okay to critique. And, um, and stuff. You know, it's okay. It's okay to critique. But at the same time, be nice. You know, no reason to be mean. You know, and, and there's times when I'm cooking and you're in my kitchen and I'm making different dishes and that's what I'm talking about, you know, making different dishes. Mira, look at how coarse it is now. You don't see the chunks of the lard, of the shortening. Now this is shortening because it's Crisco, so. Shake my hands a little bit, let me check my meat. My grandma, every time she cooked, it was, she was so funny because she, um, everything was always full of, of, of flour, I thought, because she would wipe her hands. And I find myself doing the same thing. Ay, Dios mío. Okay, so this is hot water. I just let the water get hot, 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 hot. Put it in. So I make a little well in the center. And I only use half. This is a two cups. So I don't, my, my videos aren't edited, you guys, and, and it's okay, you know, I mean, my way, I mean, I appreciate cooking and I appreciate just all of it. So, I don't always, I don't edit my videos. I don't know how in the first place, so. So you're getting the full course. And we might need a little bit more water, but we'll see. Never put too much right away. This is almost the two cups of water. Oh yeah, it's coming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the hot water again, just in case I need it. And my water does get hot, I keep it on hot. Huh? So this is the last of the two cups. I'll pour that in. Oops. 
And one day I'll have this mirror above me so you can see everything. You know? Okay. So see, so there's still is a little bit of powder on the bottom bit. And it is not as, it's still a little hard. So I need to put just a tad more water. So it's just under a cup, okay? But I won't put it off, just a little bit at a time. So let me show you something. See, and you can see that there's polvito down here still, flour. So we'll put it on the bottom. And I just put a little bit at a time. I love tortillas so much, I decided I'm gonna start making whole wheat. Así no les puedo comer más que no. Okay, look, there's still a little bit of flour down here. Just a tad of flour, so I'm just gonna do a, just a little bit of. See, it can, it's all coming together. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some in my hand, kind of wet my hand. See, that just comes together. A little bit more on my hand. I'm just wetting my hand, see? So, Pat, this is what I do. Pat Lovato. This is how I, I do it a little at a time. So, I'll bet. So, see, look. It's clean. Let me scrape this a little bit. Okay, put that aside. Now I'm gonna massage it, just knead it, okay? And I don't have no flour on my, on my, on my butcher block or anything, it's just the muscle. Just massage it. Just knead it. It all comes together. I'm going to take this off my hands. Oh, it's coming together. Yeah, when it doesn't stick to your to your counter or to your wherever you're masandoing it at, you know it's it's ready. But you're doing good. It's a firm ball, but not too firm. Mira. Let it stick. One last one. Okay. So I give it into just a little ball. I'll see. Then I cover it with my bowl just to let it rest for a little bit. Now back to my carnita. So I'm going to show you where the carnita is at because I'm going to add the papas. So I'm going to take my camera. So, okay, this is what the carne looks like. Now I'm going to put the papas in it. Put all the papas in it. I'm going to just mix them around a little bit in here. And let them just cook. Because see how they cook with your. See? Cover it for 
just a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put the onions in it real quick. So I'm just going to get a handful of onions and sprinkle it on top. That way they become a little translucent without burning. So for just a few minutes, I'm going to just cover it. Wash my hands. And remember that if you guys haven't ordered my cookbook, you can order my cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Yay! So um, all you have to do is go to www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com and order my cookbook. It's uh, it's available on my Amazon webpage and on my regular webpage. So I'm sure you'll find it. And so anyways, but yeah, so that's exciting. So order my cookbook, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell. Anyways, um, and don't forget, do your squats. Ay, Dios mío, you know? Oh, and then I led the marcha. It was, like, really cool because I um, I helped my son-in-law and his sister. I um, They followed me, and I kind of just directed, for them, directed it for them. It turned out beautiful. Now, some people are saying, what's the marcha? It's the wedding march. It's just uh, a New Mexico tradition. Um, you just, you just, it's just a march, you know. You just do all different types of of tunnels and circles and snaking and couple. It's just beautiful. And so I was able to help my son-in-law and his sister by helping them lead the march. So it was really nice. It was really a lot of fun. So, anyways, so I'm letting that cook for a little bit. Now we go back, so that way I can start working on the, on my tortillas. I need to get my, um, my tortilla baby out. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize it was, I had stuff on top of it. Sorry. I told you guys, I, I'm a normal kitchen. I don't, uh, so you hear everything. Si tiro algo, si algo se cae, you guys see it. You know, I mean, you get to see it all. You get to see the whole 900 yards. Okay, now I'm going to start working on the, on the masa. I'll put this over here. Ooh, look, it just, it just sits for a little bit, you know, just for a little bit now. So now what I do, make the bolitas, so twist, look, it's just a ball. That's how I do it. So you get your hand like this, push up, and I twist. Oh, it, they're balls, see? So then... Twist, twist, like, I, and everybody, you know, people learn different how to make their, their bolitas. My dad never liked um, thin tortillas, so mom, she would basically it would be double these bolitas that she would make and so that the tortillas were big, pero grasitas también, you know, little grasitas at the same time. And, um, cause dad never liked thin ones. And so, so there you see. I don't use a measuring scale. I do not use nothing but ice, you know. It was hard when I was working on my recipe, on my cookbook because we don't measure nothing. I mean, I learned never measuring, you know? So it was a trip, you know? So I had to really figure that one out. And then thanks to Mr. Heath Barkley, he um, he said, ah, oh, he found a mistake on one of my measurements and oh my God, and when he messaged me, I, and I corrected, of course, 
immediately before I did the, the second order. And so it was just kind of funny. I was just like, oh my God. But nobody else has really said nothing about, about it. So I was really, like, see, now I'm already down to a little bit. And there's just some, you always have a little bit of a smaller one, you know? So está bien. So what I do, I bring it, I kind of go in a circle. See? That's my makeup. And I'm going to mix my, my carne and my papas. Oh, this looks so delicious. So delicious. Okay, I'm gonna take the tomatoes over here. The chili, el chilito. The mice, corn, mice. Yellow corn, the manteca, the morel lard. Garlic powder and salt. So I'm gonna leave them here because that way, and we don't need any more onion. So I'm gonna put the onion over here for now. So anyways, so now, start my tortillas. So today, let's see how these come out. So depending on how many bolitas you have, is exactly how many tortillas that you'll make. And it's about less than a minute for each tortilla to cook. Always turn it once, turn it down, and then turn it once, and then let it cook. See how they cook in that come on. It's always good to try your new your kitchen and try your, you know, what it comes with your stove. You know, this stove also has an air fryer, so um, a built-in air fryer. Think up there, moving up in the world. It's so close to the hat, I'm going to use this to flip it. Oh, tortilla's coming out good. I think I can put another one there. It's cooking. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see what I'm gonna do now. Look at the tortilla. Looking good, huh? Roll at the same time. See? Oh, look at that. Looking good. Nice. Look. Right on. I like all the kunke. 
Okay, now. And I just want it to cook just a little bit. It helps it. Now I'm going to put a little of the manteca in because I want to kind of give it that, like, a little bit of a crisp to it. Because I love that taste. I don't know. Grandma. Grandma loved her manteca. So does my mother. My mother loves manteca. And I guess I do too, porque aquí estoy. Take this off. Take the heat, the lid off. I'll just turn the heat just a little bit up. Ooh, yum! Turn it around. Let's see, doesn't it look great? Okay, now I'm going to add the chili. I'll put almost all of it. This is um, three cups, so that's all I have left is like a cup, less than a cup. it around. And you know you could use any kind of meat you want. Mutton, you can use uh, pork, whatever you want to use you can use. some garlic, the garlic powder. This chili is very hot. And I'm going to put the salt. And like I say, my stew is a little different because hubby likes potatoes, I mean, um, a little bit of corn in it. So I'm good with it. You know, it's to your family's liking. You can omit the corn and, um, and stuff. So it's up to you. So here's the tomatoes. And I do put a lot of tomatoes in the tomatoes. And then I'm not going to use all the corn. Just a little bit. Okay. Take my tortilla out. Okay, you see this? Oh, this looks so good. Okay, now I'm going to put the water. Look at how good that looks. And let it come to a boil. I'm going to cover it. And now we'll let it come to a boil. A little onion. Well, yeah, we'll cover it. Ah, yeah, it's too, a bit over too much. It's okay. We don't have to cover it. Let's just let it do that. And let's finish doing the tortillas. Okay, yeah, it's coming along, coming along, coming along to make sure my camera is still operating. Okay, check it out. Almost done with the tortillas. Last one. I was looking at the timer on my camera. That's how you saw me looking at 
So using this Kamada, I don't like it. You know, I'm used to my cast iron, my big rail land and stuff. And so, yeah, this one's okay. I'll use it like for French toast. How's that? Isn't, look at how good it's looking. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Just boiling away. And let me tell you, this is green chili stew. Bien quemoso. Oh, I love it. My dad would be excited because he loved the hotter the better. You know, him, my oldest brother, my little sister. Oh my God, they love hot, hot, hot chili. My hita, my hita Victoria. Oh my God, the hotter the better. My grandbabies. Ooh. I could go on and on with everybody that loves the hot green chili. My tortillas. It's just a real thin um, cast iron that's on here. So anyways, so that's where that's at. And so of course, you know I had to already cut me a piece. Mm. The bomb. Lots better. Yeah. So the tortillas are done. Let me get them. So I could try my caldo. My green chili stew. I'm excited. Looks good. Remember, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com is where you can get my authentic New Mexico cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia. Look at this. Oh my God, look. Isn't that delish? Ooh, yeah, boy. My tortilla. Mmm. Who doesn't love hot tortillas from manteca? With butter. Here's the tortillas. Una pila. My tortillas, ooh, they're hot, nice. This is uh, just about finished. Yeah! And again, thank you guys for making, giving me 3,000 subscriptions, yeah! I have to keep on cheering myself, okay? I have to, so sorry. But anyways, all because of my cookbook, my dad, ooh, my dad. And so I know he's here in spirit and watching me and seeing, you know, seeing me accomplish these dreams that I've always had about my cookbook, you know, and just cooking and whatnot. Um, thank you guys. You know, thank you. Thank you for ordering my cookbook. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, for my 3,000 cusp, you know, I'm going to look and see. Um, which customer, well, which customer, which uh, subscriber, not customer, subscriber was my, that hit the 3,000. Who was 3,000? I'm going to look at it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reach out to you, and I am going to send you my authentic New Mexico cookbook, and maybe another, maybe another gift. Uh, but I really want to send someone my cookbook. So once I see who the 3,000th person was, I'm going to try to send it to you guys. Um, thank you guys very, very much. Okay, let's check out the stew. Oh my God. Look at this. Yum. Oh my gosh, look. Look at this. Isn't it delish? So now, let me try. 
try my stew. Get my cucharita. Ooh, and it's stove hot. Look at this. <gasps> Yum. And then the little steak. Look at this. And the steak. You know, this is perfect. Okay, a ver cómo me voy a quemar la boca. Or as my grandma would say, vas a quemar tu cico. <laughs> okay. Mm. My sister Velma, eat your heart out. Ay, you'll get to eat some soon once you come when you come visit. Mm. Oh my god. perfection. Mmm! Papitas are perfect. Mmm! Perfect, perfect. You guys, again, thank you for coming into my kitchen, to Margaret's Kitchen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey, we're getting on the map for authentic New Mexico cooking. It was garlic, salt, chili, a little bit of corn, some Yukon potatoes, my to, uh, stewed tomatoes, salt and, salt and garlic, that was it. And my, of course, my stequito and some manteca, morel lard, and a little bit of cebolla. Mm, and that's my, that is my soup. My soup, as some people call it. But this is green chili gold, yeah. Oh my God, look at this. I know my sister in Tennessee is craving this right about now. I know she is because she loves her chili. And so here you go. So thank you all. We'll talk to you soon. Bueno, bye. Don't forget, be nice. Be nice. I, I don't mind you critiquing. Just be nice. Be kind, okay? Be kind as you would want others to be kind to you, okay? And if I talk, you're in my kitchen. I'm having a conversation with you. I love it. And yes, you'll get a word in there twice. I promise you will. <laughs> squats, squats, pray. You know what? Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you all. Have a wonderful evening, night. Love you all. Again, thank you for coming into Margaret's Kitchen. Adios. Bye.